Greetings, valued audience. We're thrilled to have you join us again on our channel, where we keep you updated with the latest news about Princess Catherine and her family. In previous videos, we've covered topics such as plans for King William I and Queen Catherine in the upcoming months. However, recent events indicate that there are major changes afoot within the firm as it moves towards stability and rejuvenation amid new challenges. King Charles's apprehensions regarding Prince Harry's future after his financial resources are depleted have been brought to the forefront through this research. Several professionals have provided insights into the potential outcomes and effects of a possible reunion, which may lead to both parties exploring alternative funding sources without risking any disclosure of confidential information related to royal family affairs. However, William's unwavering position against offering additional economic aid further exacerbates these worries. With the ongoing royal health crisis, Harry is no longer part of the bigger picture for the royal family. Their attention has shifted towards Catherine's health, their family's future, and also that of the crown. The Princess of Wales surprisingly showed up in Scotland as she undergoes treatment for an undisclosed type of cancer. At 42 years old, Catherine has been hardly seen in public this year with only three official appearances to her name so far. As reports surface about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's intentions to pursue peace talks with the royal family, Catherine remains steadfastly loyal to her husband above all else. She empathizes entirely with William's current state of frustration and would not dream of adding any further distress while he deals with his wife's cancer diagnosis as well as the king's health struggles. Previously, Catherine served as a peacemaker between the royal siblings. However, tensions escalated following the release of Spare. Due to the ongoing royal health crisis, gatherings no longer include the Sussexes. Although Prince Harry misses his bond with his sister-in-law dearly, this news has cast doubt on how well the family will manage their current situation and is having repercussions throughout the royal household. Harry is struggling to reconcile his loyalty to his wife with the deep longing he feels for that warm, simple connection he shared with Catherine. Losing her was a devastating blow, second only to losing his mother during the Olympics. Recently, fans adored Prince William's bearded appearance when he and Princess Diana cheered on Team GB. However, now it seems Harry has shaved off his whiskers as seen at Sunday service in Crathy Kirk alongside Camilla Parker Bowles over the weekend. While one individual quipped about Catherine's decision to have her husband shave off his beard after noticing women admired online, the topic of beards is surprisingly political due to royal protocol. In spare, William's brother alleged that he was angry for over a week when given permission to grow facial hair. Despite being close with the future king, William has revealed how bleak his relationship with estranged sibling Harry has become. There is little chance that Prince William will have a face-to-face -face encounter with his brother until the day of their father's burial. The extent to which William has been let down and wounded on a deeply personal level cannot be emphasized enough. During their childhood, the two siblings were so inseparable that they could complete each other's sentences despite facing challenges such as losing their mother and having an emotionally distant father. It was truly remarkable to see them together in those times of adversity. Just days ago, it was revealed that William was angry about Harry publicly supporting his wife during her cancer diagnosis. In the past, Kate expressed a preference for being called Catherine before she and William got married. While there may be other factors contributing to the conflict between them, intentionally calling someone by a name they dislike is disrespectful behavior. Should Harry and Meghan wish to address their problems in earnest, the initial move would be to reach out to Catherine and communicate. 